Question number 67. An Arv's palsy is identified as a lesion at level of and the options are these. So I think this is a very common question and most of you guys know the answer because in my previous paper solutions you can see it came in like Jamia Milia, West Bengal Joint Entrance Examination Test and various exams. So let's see the answers. So here you can see upper plexus injury is the most common injury of the brachial plexus. So the mechanism of injury involves the shoulder depression and lateral flexion of the neck to the opposite side. Now Arv's palsy mainly occurs with birth injuries when the shoulder is stretched downwards. So it is the upper plexus injury. But also remember if it is a lower plexus injury then it is called as clumpkiss paralysis. So the lower plexus injury is the involvement of C8 T1 and the upper plexus injury is the involvement of C5 C6. But when there is a complete injury it will be called as Arv clumpkiss palsy or Arv clumpkiss paralysis. Now I think you get the answer. So the answer is option A that is Arv's palsy is identified as a lesion at the level of C5 and C6.